Okay, Akumaldo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. So, what do we have, guys? We have this triangle here. Yes, uh, this sideways formation here that has been happening since February. We were reformed this X, this WX, then this ABCY. We have some uh, some attempts to break this those two trend lines. This is the yellow trend line. If you have been following me, you you may have you may remember that I have those uh, trend lines drawn. I have drawn those yellow trend lines back then, but then I, I took them off because it was such a, a, a lot of uh, trend lines and it was really confusing. But I'm drawing it again just to show you guys how, how close we are to some kind of a, of a apex, right? How close we are? We are quite close and it can go either way, as I said. I can't guys, I can't be so confident to say that I believe that this is going to finish the correction now and then we are going to go up and that's it. Clear sky, everyone is happy. No, that's that's not my, my, my attitude and that's that shouldn't be yours as well if you want to be here for the long run. Remember, I, I <laughs> the market is, is, is always trying to... to to confuse us okay that's that's how we make money okay it's a zero-sum game okay in order for one person to make money the other party needs to lose unfortunately that's the the, the game that we are playing a zero-sum game so we are 307 days correcting okay it is bit stamp daily okay and we have our TD sequential supports here. This is really important. I love those supports that the TD sequential is showing us. And we are still doing that correction, right? We had that moment. Uh, let me show you guys here. I don't know, 12 hours. We have that moment where we had that surge in price here. Yes. <clears throat> And this that surging price that happened last last Thursday, right? It was last Thursday, right? Uh, yes, it was last Thursday. We did, I changed it to 12 hours, okay? I won't change anything else. I'm just showing you guys where we are now. So, interesting. When we changed to 12 hours, uh, I'm proposing that we had this uh, nasty resistance here because we we tried three times to break it okay and uh, the b would be here not there okay we we formed this resistance here yes and we formed this support here that we are now below it this red line here this is 12 hours okay the this sequential is showing us that we are below the support region here mm. which is a, a really bearish sign in my opinion so i'm proposing that we might have this c here to finish this b here this is a, okay again this is the overall picture first and this is one possible count what i really tell that we have a b remember this is this was my this is my bearish count that we might have a b that uh that would end this triangle here this triangle inside of this uh this uh, here, uh this bigger triangle we have another triangle in blue which is the a b c d e triangle which would finish this b here would, then we would have an a a b then then and only then we would have a c that would be something like a one two three four five of course would have something like this that would finish this x Okay, so we wouldn't have the second X of this double com of this triple combo, pardon me. We would have only uh, the A, actually the W, X, and Y. And the, the, this X here would be still going on. This A, B, and a C. 
Okay, then we would start the Z. That would give us a really uh, bearish target. I don't know. I am I would aim at this 5200, but we don't know. Okay? This A V this uh this A V E here wouldn't be in yet in this case here. We would be finishing this triangle, this blue triangle here. And what would have happened is that we would have this oopsie uh, what would have happened is that we tried to to break above this uh, this this upper trend line here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. We would have tried to see uh, see this huge volume here. Okay, of course now we are we have we see the, the 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 volume declining. We would have tried to go above it. Okay, the D would have finished here. And it's a really nice, uh, it's touching every time, okay, B is here touching it, it's touching the upper line here, the upper trend line, here is A, here is C, touching the bottom line, here is D, okay, we have this kind of a overthrow here, but, um, well, yeah, I'm sorry, this is the yellow line, the blue line, count the blue blue line here, guys, okay? The blue line is the blue line of this triangle that I'm talking about. Let, 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 let me change it. I will make it thicker and dotted. Okay, this dotted blue line here is the line that we have for our triangle A, B, C, D, E. And uh, we, we, it's a textbook A, B, C, D, E, guys. Oh, you see, it's the start of the A. Here we have our A. Always sharp and uh, especially when we have a triangle like this, it's always sharp and we have uh, most of the correction happening in our wave A. Then we have our B touching the, the, the upper trend line. Then we have our C touching the, the bottom line. Then we have our D touching the, the upper trend line. Then we have our E that might, this is a contender, might get us to a new... Uh, local low here okay we would have a throw off here or a bull week whatever you call it and then we would go up okay so i am bearish for the moment but i'm bearish in so far i think that we need to do something like this okay finish this here in order to go up okay it's it's one it is honestly who knows okay we don't really know Okay, this is what Bitcoin is telling me, it's telling us, okay? Um, and when we turn on uh, the EMAs, let's take a look at the EMAs. Uh, let me just, this is my, this is my, uh, I'm gonna turn off some of the, some of the options. I, I, I don't want the upper band and lower band. Let me take off the, yes, something like this. Okay, a um, lot of noise. Well, okay, let let let's let let, let me make it thicker. Um, no, not this one. This one. This one. Yellow, and the white. Okay, the red one is the 55 MA. This white one here is the 100 MA, and we touched it with this wave B, and we had what a rejection. Okay. Uh, we are now be in between the 55 EMA and the 21 EMA. The 21 EMA is about to break. It it's about to... Uh, we are actually below it. Uh, let me see here. We are be in between the 21 EMA. Actually, we are below it. And we have this nasty spinning top. And we are now... We now have this kind of... A, this is this would be a bullish bullish candle because... We try to go down and we are now recovering, but we have here the 21 EMA. And we were, we were in the past week, we were in between the 21 EMA and the, I'm sorry, the 55 EMA and the 21 EMA. But we are now below it. So this is a bearish sign, guys. Okay? And if we turn on, this is the 13 and the 8 EMA. Okay, let me see where we are here. Again. Oh, the, even the eight. We we have this bullish cross here, but disregard those crosses here. Okay, 
actually we we might see a cross here 20 the this is the 8 ema crossing the 21 ema and this would be a bearish cross okay um but in uh, so far what we see is that we are below all the emas this is 12 hours okay and let's see the daily chart daily chart probably of course yes we are below every and yes we are only above the the ema 8 we have we have we, we have broke we we have closed yesterday above it and the ema 8 is offering support but the 13 ema is offering resistance and the 21 ema is offering resistance as well so that's why guys i think that uh we are we are gonna see some kind of a bearish movement to to uh establish here a uh, wave e okay it's not a textbook guys honestly when we have a triangle i know but if you count as a if you are talking about a, a contraction triangle a b c d e the e a the e wave cannot go below the level of c that's the textbook okay however i think that we might see it we we, we shouldn't count on those um on those rules so uh, we shouldn't be considering those rules as as setting the stone okay we might see some different uh, throw-offs uh, weeks going down and and trying to to get stop losses so don't really consider those guidelines as setting the stone okay so c might go as deep as 6k again or a bit lower okay perhaps go to the level of a wave i, I don't think it's likely but we have a target here minus 33 60 percent that would be 5700 okay that's the target c might go there we might see something like this a really fast guys and rapidly uh, drop and all the people would fomo in that would that uh, how organically it would have that it would happen okay that that would happen organically the fomo would the people would start selling oh my god it's it, it's breaking those trend lines and then would see something like this okay that's how it happens in real life okay we we we, we need to remember that we are talking about uh, uh an asset that is it's not uh following the it's not really caring about what kind of analysis we are using it's just a dynamic system okay so we might have this we might see this abc i would really be um i would be really really cautious about entering along now okay because i think that we might see this c here I don't know where it's gonna stop perhaps 6k here we have the td sequential here we have all this confluence all those trend lines showing us that it's approaching this apex but we might just go below it and and try to get to this minus 32 60 percent okay remember i am really concerned about this tentative cross here at the weekly chart the, between the, the the 21 and me i have i have tried to 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 bring you guys to draw your your attention to this uh bearish cross here this has never happened before guys the cross between the 21 ma and the 55 and it's a strong cross and it's a bearish cross don't forget that when we are way below it way below the 7k we tried to go above it and we failed and we are now below all the emas 13 and the 8 we are not anywhere close to a bullish uh momentum okay that's the thing um here we have another analysis uh let me see this one oh. yes this one i don't it is on this bd phoenix I, I i i said you guys that i would ignore it because of that tether foot this one is is bit phoenix and we might see something like this I, i'm not really confident that would have a one two three four five i i told you guys about it yesterday we might see something like this okay i want you three four five 
uh, we wouldn't in this case if we have a one two three four five and we would have a new local high we wouldn't have something like this but as the time is going and it's going on and passing i see a more uh, i see more of this bearish count than ever okay i see more of this bearish count i, I see something like a, a, a turn uh, another low here perhaps 6k another a uh, double bottom again here and then uh, a movement upwards that a lot of people is gonna call the end of the correction okay but then we might see an X don't forget guys this is really a really likely possibility I'm sorry not really likely possibility but it's really likely that we might see something like this an X and we then fail to get past this 50% and then we would go down to the Z get to this 127 20% minus 618 minus 336 minus 333 60% remember guys I have been saying this over and over it's in the it's in the bears best interest to have to get a better price here to short okay don't forget don't forget that but we have a lot of resistance to to go above we have to break above this triangle here we need to break this 50 percent here that we tried that we have tried three times to break above this 50 percent where i marked here with this line here and this has been a really this region here uh between 6 700 and 6 850 is it has been a, a really a significant resistance remember back in um, this was what july right june july we were facing something really similar that to what we are facing now we were trying to break this resistance okay we tried to we were trying to break this resistance so and this resistance were like uh working as a, a support here back in march we try to break below it and we form this td sequential uh, support here and then we we went up to form this b so it's a historical support historical resistance back in uh, when we had that huge drop this was in february we stopped at the 65 percent don't forget this is this is not coincidence guys this is the 65 percent uh, Fibonacci retracement which is uh, in between which is the the golden ratio right 61865 so it's not a coincidence that we have stopped there and that this region here is so important so this region here which is where we try to 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 break above the 50 percent it's a bit it, it's a bit uh lower than the 65 percent but nonetheless it's the region that we we have been we have had a lot of movement a lot of indecision so nothing has really uh, nothing is really a coincidence when we we apply the, the the technique when we apply the the guidelines and the elliott wave principle we have a lot of confluences telling us that indeed what we have is uh that what we, we indeed have is a, re a huge resistance here and that we might test again the, the support here this green support here to to get to a, a new high a new, new local high here and then and only then perhaps if we fail to break this 50 percent here we would have a, a next and then we would go down again okay something like this would be the picture okay i, I post I post this scenario here yesterday on my Twitter okay so who knows we need to wait I am shorting now I am shorting I, I, I'm counting on this going down but if if this doesn't go down okay so then I'm gonna I'm gonna flip and I'm gonna change it and I'm gonna uh, go and start longing it but then I'm not gonna lose a lot of money because it's really we don't see a lot of uh, huge movements here okay uh i think that's it for the moment right let me change the color of it i'm gonna post this thing on my twitter so uh, i don't like this color i don't know 
so we need to wait this year uh, let me change the degree of this this is mean areas a higher degree so let me put it below it sorry guys <laughs> so let's finish this video huh uh, thanks a lot again for watching me and for all the support and for all the opinions it's always a pleasure to have you guys here <clears throat> If you haven't followed me on Twitter, please consider doing so. Um, I'm always trying to keep you guys updated. And we have our Crypto Trader Educational Institute, our Discord server. Please join us there. It's a really nice place with, with different analysts, with different opinions. And that's what we need, guys, to figure out what's happening. Okay? Uh, have a wonderful weekend, guys. And let's see what the market has to us. Cheers. Bye-bye.